The last year for Shane Vallow has been full of lessons. Being playing football, you know, you got to be tough. You go through a lot. But this is a kind of a different turn here. Uh, it's more of a mental toughness. After helping lead Louisiana football to his best season in program history, his dreams of becoming a football coach was right across the line of scrimmage. Vallow followed former Cajuns head coach Billy Napier to Florida, but he would soon be reminded that home is where the heart is. It was tough making the decision to come back home. Of course, Napier didn't want me to leave, and it, it was kind of tough, but I thought it was the best decision for myself. Returning to the flats, Vallo coached his first season with St. Thomas More, winning a state championship. He was also able to jumpstart his own business, Sans Bon Catering. Pancakes aren't the only thing he could serve on the field, but in the kitchen as well. Kind of take me back. We knew when you were still playing for UL that you were a good cook, but take me back to how do we even get here? What did you learn? How did you learn? Um, really, I just learned because I like to eat. Of course, I was always a lineman. I just started trying things and. Like one day, with the, the reason why I came with these quesadilla burgers is because one day I was cooking some burgers at home and I didn't have, I was cooking them already and I didn't have any buns. So I went in the house and I was like, well, I don't have time to go to the store. So I went and I had tortillas and I was like, you know what? I guess we're eating them with uh, tortillas today. And now Valo is on the brink of opening a restaurant, Shane's famous quesadilla burgers, an establishment they will be full of flavor. <laughs> when you reflect back on it, how crazy has this year been for you and maybe gratifying? It's been real crazy, I'll tell you that. Um, when, I, when I launched my catering business, I didn't think I would, I, I mean, the goal was always to open up a restaurant one day and, uh, and do that, but I didn't think it would happen this quick. It's been a long, it's been an interesting uh, journey, I would say, so far. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm in it for the long run, so I'm waiting to see what happens. Reporting in Lafayette, Megan Glover, KTC TV3.